Have you ever wondered which counties in the United States are the poorest? We often focus on cities, towns, states, and even other countries, but counties rarely get mentioned. So today, let's delve into the poorest counties in the United States. This video is based on the lowest median household incomes as reported by the latest survey from the United States Census Bureau. As of the summer of the year 2024, the national median household income stands at approximately $68,000. However, the median household income in some of the counties on our list is nearly half of that. When you have a county where the annual median income is only about $32,500, it's quite significant. Number 10, McDowell County, West Virginia. McDowell County, West Virginia once thrived on coal mining, which drove its economy in the early to mid 20th century. However, as mechanization advanced and coal demand declined, the county faced a severe economic downturn. With few alternative employment opportunities, the population plummeted, with about 80% of residents leaving over the decades. This exodus weakened the economy, making it difficult to sustain infrastructure, schools, and businesses. Today, McDowell County struggles with a poverty rate of about 31.7% and a median household income just over $26,000, well below state and national averages. High poverty correlates with poor health outcomes and reliance on federal assistance programs. Land ownership issues, with much of the land held by out-of-state entities, complicate economic recovery efforts. Real estate prices reflect these struggles with the average home value around $36,848, most homes priced between $50,000 and $90,000. Despite these challenges, McDowell County's situation mirrors those of other regions, like Monroe County, Arkansas, where economic hardships and population decline create both obstacles and opportunities for potential buyers. Number 9. Monroe County, Arkansas Monroe County, Arkansas faces a poverty rate of about 26%, significantly higher than state and national averages. This high rate highlights daily struggles in meeting basic living standards. Educational attainment is low, with only 17.7% .7 of adults holding a bachelor's degree or higher, limiting job opportunities. The county's economy heavily relies on agriculture, subject to seasonal fluctuations and market uncertainties. Since 2010, the population has declined nearly 20% as young people seek better opportunities elsewhere. The lack of economic diversification leaves the area vulnerable, with limited job opportunities outside agriculture. Situated in the Mississippi Delta, Monroe County is part of a historically economically challenged region. Residents face limited access to health care, education, and other critical services, exacerbating poverty. Despite these challenges, Monroe County offers affordable real estate with an average home value around $77,450. The median listing price for homes is around $185,000, though market conditions cause fluctuations. Given these challenges, investing in real estate here might seem risky, but it could also offer opportunities for revitalization. Number 8. Buffalo County, South Dakota. Buffalo County, South Dakota reflects rural poverty in America with fewer than 2,000 residents. The Crow Creek Indian Reservation shapes the county's demographic profile, with about 84% of the population identifying as Native American. The median household income is just over $27,000, with nearly half of the population living below the poverty line. Limited employment opportunities force reliance on tribal government jobs schools, or the tribal casino, but the government's debt limits job creation. Housing and infrastructure challenges, such as homes lacking basic amenities, compound economic difficulties. Healthcare access is another significant challenge, with inadequate medical and social services. The unemployment rate is alarmingly high, over 70%, further exacerbating the county's struggles. Number 7. East Carroll Parish, Louisiana East Carroll Parish, Louisiana has a history tied to agriculture, particularly cotton plantations. Post-Civil War economic instability and racial tensions have laid the foundation for today's disparities. African-American residents face systemic barriers, 
further entrenching poverty. The economy remains heavily dependent on agriculture, with low pay and vulnerability to fluctuations, leaving the community exposed. East Carroll Parish has one of the nation's highest poverty rates, with about 44% of residents below the poverty line. The median household income is much lower than the national average, hindering wealth accumulation. Population decline further worsens economic difficulties, shrinking the tax base and limiting government services. Educational attainment is also low, affecting employment prospects. Despite these challenges, real estate in East Carroll Parish is affordable, with a median home price around $95,000. This affordability reflects the region's economic struggles and limited growth prospects. Number 6. Holmes County, Mississippi Holmes County, part of the Black Belt, historically relied on plantation agriculture and enslaved labor. Post-emancipation, many African Americans became landowners, but by the early 20th century, economic and racial barriers forced many to lose their land. This led to sharecropping systems that perpetuated poverty for generations. Today, about 42.4% of Holmes County residents live below the poverty line. The median home sale price as of mid-2024 is about $190,000, up 55.7% from the previous year, though the price per square foot has dropped to about $13. The economy remains heavily reliant on agriculture, offering mostly low-wage jobs. Infrastructure challenges like inadequate health care and broadband access further isolate the community and hinder economic progress. The population continues to decline as residents move to urban areas for better opportunities, with those remaining facing systemic challenges that contribute to persistent poverty. Number 5. Tensas Parish, Louisiana Tensas Parish, Louisiana relies heavily on agriculture, particularly cotton farming. This dependence on a single industry limits economic growth and resilience. Historically, the economy was built on slavery and sharecropping, contributing to persistent disparities and limited wealth accumulation, especially among African Americans. As of 2024, Tensas Parish faces significant economic challenges, with a poverty rate of 32.1% and a median household income of about $32,962. The labor force participation rate is low at 41.9% highlighting the limited job opportunities. The parish's reliance on agriculture without industrial diversification underscores the need for investment to boost economic activities and provide residents with better opportunities. Number four, Humphreys County, Mississippi. In the Mississippi Delta, Humphreys County relies heavily on agriculture, particularly cotton and catfish farming. Despite being known as the catfish capital of the world, the economic benefits haven't significantly improved local living standards. In 2022, the median household income was just over $31,000, far below the national median of over $70,000, highlighting widespread poverty. Educational attainment in the county is low, with many single-parent households. These factors limit economic opportunities, keeping many residents in low-wage jobs with little chance for advancement. The county's history, rooted in slavery and segregation, continues to influence its socioeconomic conditions. With few job options outside of agriculture, residents struggle to improve their financial situations. This is reflected in the real estate market, where the median home sale price in 2024 is around $36,000 down nearly 20% from the previous year. Although home prices range widely, from $15,900 to $3 million, the local market offers limited options. Number three, Owsley County, Kentucky. Owsley County, Kentucky once relied on coal mining, timber, and tobacco farming. However, the decline of these industries has led to job losses and economic instability. With few new employment opportunities, the county's population, just 4,000 people, continues to shrink. About 31% of residents live below the poverty line, and the median household income is just over $25,800, far below the national average. 
Health challenges, including high drug addiction rates and limited health care, further hinder economic progress. The county's aging and declining population impacts local businesses and services, making economic recovery difficult. Real estate remains affordable, with the median home value in 2024 at approximately $1,575, down 11% from the previous year. Recent home sales range from $79,500 to $238,000, with inexpensive land also available. Number 2. Madison Parish, Louisiana Madison Parish, Louisiana struggles economically due to fluctuations in crop prices, technological advancements in agriculture, and environmental changes. With only about 3,295 people employed as of June 2024, the parish has a high unemployment rate, driving poverty levels. Educational attainment is below the national average, limiting job prospects. Around 16% of the population has only completed 9th to 12th grade, and just 10% hold a bachelor's degree. This lack of skilled labor further complicates the economic situation. The population, predominantly African American at 62%, faces high poverty rates, with 51% living below the poverty line. Historical inequalities and systemic barriers have worsened poverty in the region. Madison Parish's rural setting limits access to infrastructure and services, making it difficult to attract new businesses. Despite these challenges, real estate is affordable, with the average home value in 2024 around $74,000, down 7% from the previous year. The low property tax rate further enhances affordability. Number 1. Perry County, Alabama Perry County, Alabama has long relied on agriculture, but mechanization has reduced the demand for labor, leading to economic stagnation. The lack of industrial diversity has hindered economic growth, resulting in a poverty rate of about 36%, much higher than the national average. Education is a major issue, with many residents lacking a high school diploma, limiting job opportunities. Infrastructure challenges like inadequate transportation and limited internet access further impede economic development. The county has also seen significant population decline, with younger residents leaving for better opportunities, leaving behind an aging population that strains social services. For those considering real estate, Perry County offers affordable options, with the median home value in 2024 around $16,988, down 5.6% from the previous year. The median listing price in May 2024 was $119,900, reflecting a nearly 20% decrease. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to the Epic ExploreX channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.